What's happening, fake rock fans? This is Dave out here in Vista, California, where we are uh, in the process of remodeling and repairing some rocks that have disintegrated and fallen apart. And uh, not an uncommon thing I see around the San Diego County. Uh, they built them the, in the old-fashioned way, which was not so good. They stuck steel in the dirt, bent it around, put diamond lath on top, and then cement on top of that and you end up with cracks right along the perimeters, all the corners of the rocks and boulders because the steel is not encased in the concrete and you end up with uh, expansion and contraction, moisture and a lot of the uh, steel just rusts away to nothing as uh, you can see in some of their photos and stuff that I put out there. So pretty crazy job here actually. Uh, pretty good size. This is a really nice feature that initially it was very large scale they got the whole perimeter of the pool pretty much coming around. It's a nice design too, I like it. It's got architectural shapes, corners, squares, and then it has an organic uh, backside where they added the water feature itself. So what we're doing is we're replacing <coughs> all these cavities with concrete. If you look inside, you can see the steel just totally exposed, totally rusting, Some all these cavities down in here were all full of water where they are below water level. Another example over here, same kind of thing, just insane. Hollow, completely hollow, all the way down in there. They should have made these all solid wherever the water level was. And you can see the water line right there. So, not a good idea to do them this way. Um, looking over here, we got roots. Actually, the palm tree, these crazy palms, just driving their roots right down, crawling underneath the rocks and down into the water, into the pool. So the pool was feeding these uh, palm trees for quite a while. <laughs> so anyways, uh, a lot of holes, busting them out. We're gonna fill all these cavities up solid, thereby greatly reducing the uh, potential for rusting. And uh, fun pool, nice water depth. You could run around and just have all kinds of good time playing volleyball and whatever. Um, put plywood down to protect everything. We're gonna have a shot creep pump in here, blowing cement everywhere, basically filling in all these cavities. And uh, then I'm gonna texture the outside to try and mimic some of these interesting crack patterns. They use a tin foil, uh, industrial uh, commercial grade tin foil, I think, which is thicker and they crinkle it up and push it in the cement. A very easy way to make some cracks and rocks. It looked pretty authentic, so. Anyways, Mr. Dave here, uh, showing you the latest adventures in fake rock land. And my son Michael's up there. Wave to the camera, Michael. There he is. I'm torching him today out here in the warm temperatures of uh, Northeast San Diego County. So, thanks for watching. Check out whatever else is out there on my uh, <coughs> Facebook page, we got millions of videos on stuff, uh, and uh, wherever you are, be thankful, be forgiving, be happy, and be creative, all right? Uh, we need more positive stuff out here in this crazy world that seems to be spinning out of its mind, out of the axis, uh, as it were, so. Anyway, Mr. Dave out here making something else, and this is uh, signing off, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.